if you look at Liverpool now to what it was say 20 years ago people will not recognize it the tourist industry has really taken off in Liverpool all the cultural industry is really embedded so it's known now as the city to come to rather than a city that we're not quite sure whether we want to go there so I think for us the cuts coming in now from the government is is even more desperate than it would have been 10 years ago because we've turned a massive corner you know the foundations are in there and what we can't do now is go backwards Liverpool have actually formally pulled out of the government's understanding of the big society and that's because Liverpool believes in the good society Liverpool has always always had a massive base around volunteering campaigning people looking out for each other people doing things for free for hundreds of years what you can't do is say we want people to get involved in the big society meanwhile we're taking all the money away from it that is disingenuous to put it politely if you look at 400 million of liverpool's own sort of budget there uh, we're going to have to take out 91 million this year and then another 50 next year which is you, you just can't do it that's in two years and the way that the government has, has demanded the cuts to be done is over that two-year period for local authorities that is actually I think immoral it's a combination of, of cuts coming in so everything is hitting people from about six or seven different angles and then I'm coming through as a councillor saying by the way, you know, we might have to close your shore start because we've only got so much money to stretch there. It, it, it's criminal, it's absolutely criminal. When people say to us, um, well, councillors, they're, they're um, carrying out the government's cuts, they shouldn't do it. We literally haven't got any choice. We, we, it's illegal for us not to do the cuts. So we've had pressure on us to, to um, set an illegal budget. All that, I don't do the cuts. All that happens is, um, if we said, well, we're not going to cut anything, by about October, we will have run out of money.